hello everyone welcome so in my previous video i have discussed about the system of classification and in this video i will be discussing about the algae its characteristics uh, the classification that we have etc so the whole discussion will be based on algae okay so now when we talk about algae algae includes all chlorophyllous thalidophytes thallophytes and they include autotrophic avascular plants with thallous plants body that fail to show any cellular differentiation so basically when i talk about algae algae they are chlorophyll bearing they are simple thalloid and they are autotrophic and they are largely aquatic so you can find them on moist stones you can find them on soils woods and everything okay so they are very very commonly seen basically we have lichens lichens are nothing but their association of fungi and uh, you know their their uh, association of fungus and the algae so that is a, a lichen so there are a various ranges the algae of are uh, the form and the size of algae is highly variable they can be uh, being there as in the form of a colony like in wall box or it can be even filamentous like eulothrix pyrogyra and all those so there are few uh, algae like kelp which uh, form a massive plant body so they are like a massive uh, plant body which is present okay so what are the basic characteristics that we have for an algae so the basic characteristics of an algae would be so uh, okay just a minute okay so basic characteristics of an algae is uh, algae are distributed wide there is a wide distribution of algae there is various of habitats you can find them in marine you can find them in fresh water you can find them in tree trunks moist so uh, they, they have variable habitat variable habitat is one then another thing is algae can be unicellular or multicellular so i can have al algae is like volvox they form small colony and a few algae is like uh, macrocystis they can be huge uh, they can be very long that is 100 feet long filamentous forms may be branched or unbranched so they can be unicellular as well as multicellular okay the next thing is the plant body they are covered with uh, some mucilage to protect the algae from any epiphytic growth or decaying by the effect of water so they are i can say mucilage there is a mucilaginous layer which is there on the top then the vascular and the mechanical tissues are absent so now there is no options that they are the body is very flexible so they cannot be easily be swayed away they can easily get swayed away without getting tear or something so wear and tear is not happening so uh, no vascular system no vascular system okay then the they are bit basically photosynthetic in, in nature they are photosynthetic in nature but they are are uh, organisms which are not so nutrition is basically photosynthetic and uh, so grana is absent in the chloroplast then the algae they contain chlorophyll a b c d carotenes and xanthophylls and we have pyrenoids they are associated with the chloroplast for storage of starch okay so these are basically the characteristics of an algae now coming to how the algae is are classified so uh, now if i come into the uh, uh, if i come into the reproductive uh, phase of an algae algae is reproduced by asexual but it's vegetative they can uh, reproduce asexually as well as sexually okay 
so uh, coming to that uh, reproductive they can first when i talk about the vegetative reproduction during vegetative reproduction how do they reproduce vegetative reproduction it may take place by fragmentation that is one way of reproducing fragmentation like in uh, eulothrix and all those things there can be fission there can be uh, fission binary or multiple fissions that is there like in chlamydomonas and there can be hormogonia tubers can be formed they can uh, reproduce by forming tubers as in chara or they can reproduce by budding they can reproduce as well by budding so these are the different ways of uh, vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction wherein no gametes are taking part in the reproduction so it can be fragmentation it can be fission it can be tubers or formation of budding next coming to how do they reproduce asexual so when i tell about asexual mode of reproduction how do they reproduce they reproduce by forming zoospores zoo spores that is mainly in chlamydomonas you have the eulothrix so there is a uh, there are zoo spores which are being produced which are flagellated zoo spores non motile thin walled apollono spore and non motile thick walled hypano spores so there are two different kinds of spores that are being formed so that is also found in chlamydomonas so all those things you find the formation of zoo spores that is the asexual mode of reproduction then we have the sexual mode of reproduction so what is a what is a sexual mode of reproduction that is there found in algae in algae the sexual mode of reproduction is uh they have got uh, they have uh, got this isogamous isogamous that is uh, the formation of uh, the reproduction where in both the male and the female are of the same size so that is isogamous okay so under favorable conditions what happen algae shows sexual reproduction which may be isogamous or it may be heterogamous like anisogamous or oogamous so it is also possible so when there is fusion of two gametes of dissimilar size then it is anisogamous now when the fusion of one large non motile female gamete and a smaller male gamete is getting fused motile male gamete is getting fused then i say it as oogamous then i say it as oogamous isogamous is when both are of same size and isogamous is when one is uh, that the sizes of both the gametes are dissimilar and o uh, oogamous is when i have a non motile uh, we have we have a non motile sterile female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete which is going to fuse so now here you see there are different types of algae that we find we find green algae we find brown algae and we find red algae as well so now coming to uh, the classification of algae when we go ahead the classification of algae so you can uh, refer to this as well so i can classify the algae the green algae is basically this green algae is i call them because of the presence of chlorophyll i call them chlorophyca chlorophyca so that is how i call them now the brown algae they are phacophysia phacophysia okay chlorophysia phacophysia and rhodophysia so these are the different types of algae we have based on the pigmentation which is available now what are the characteristics of chlorophysia chlorophysia they are unicellular they are uh, cellulosic cell wall they have cellulosic cell wall 
and they mostly we see them in the fresh waters okay they are basically seen in the fresh water but they have a tendency towards the terrestrial habitat now the major pigments which are there in uh, chlorophyllia is a we have b we have uh, carotenoids and xanthophylls so they have got the food food is being uh, preserved uh, or they are, they have the reservoir of food as true starch and sugars so uh, their mode of reproduction we have vegetative reproduction by fragmentation or fission we have zoospore formation that is there and sex that is asexual and sexual we have isogamous to advanced oogamous then coming to this phacophysia phacophysia they are simple filamentous to a bulky uh, uh, bulky parenchymatous with giant size they have external and internal differentiation so that is there there is a lot of differentiation that you find in these cells these are mostly marine and the pigments which are present in them is fucosanthin flavoxanthin beta carotenes and chlorophyll a and c food is uh, the reserve food material for them is laminarian or manitonal and their reproduction when it comes to vegetative reproduction fragmentation is very common in them so they can just split and then get grown asexual is zoospores or tetraspore formation whereas sexual is isogamous or oogamous now coming to this rhodophyta rhodophyta uh, rhodophysia so rhodophysia what is it rhodophysia are basically red algae so they are simple filamentous they form uh, so complex forms are also there so they are basically found in fresh water and then few fresh waters are there and the rest of them are basically marine they have got the pigment phy phycoerythrins so phycoerythrins that is why they have got the uh, red color so they have phycoerythrins and they have phycocyanin and chlorophyll a and d the food reserve is in the form of floridian starch now when i come to the reproduction so a, the vegetative form of reproduction is very rare except to that of some unicellular ones monospores are can may be formed in the asexual mode of reproduction or carpospores polyspores is basically spore formation and when i come to sexual reproduction they do show some advanced oogamous types producing special carpospores so that is how basically we have the uh, we have the algae now coming into how what are the various uses of algae so uh, we have talked about different types of uh, algae now uh, so here you have a table which shows what kind of habitat they are in what kind of pigments is present and all those things now coming to what is the economic importance of algae now coming to economic importance of algae algae can be used as food first is algae can be used as food how the seaweeds and certain marine algae they can be used as food they are rich source of proteins so they are basically used as food supplements okay then they are uh, the next is photosynthesis so 50% of the photosynthesis is happening in the algae so it is essential for the respiration on aquatic life so uh, basically it can be for photosynthesis uses it can be done so that is there next is we have alginic acid alginic acid so they are obtained from phacophyllia such as laminaria marco uh, citus fucus etc so there is an uh, establishing st stabilizing emulsions which are being 
form which is flame proof plastic security glasses all this so like uh, alginic acids so that is also there so we can uh, use this this flame proof plastics or security glasses artificial fibers all this are made from this algae which is because of the alginic acids then we have the agar 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 is very easily found in uh, as a solidifying agents which is there in the medium canning of fish meat sizing of textiles and papers etc we have uh, that agar agar or jelly formation then we have keratinin we have keratinin so keratinin is basically it is obtained from red algae and it is used for pharmaceutical emulsifiers cleaning agents etc then algae are also used in the medicines medicines the brown green green algae are very good as a goiter medicine then we have sewage disposal also we use algae so green algae like chlamydomonas col uh, uh, chlorella all those things they have some components of sewage oxidation tanks which provide aerobic condition for the disposal of sewage by decomposers so that's all about algae we got to know the characteristics of algae so what are the various characteristics of algae just to brief it out we know that they may be they have got wide range of habitat they may be unicellular or multicellular they have got mucilages body they do not have any vascular system and also they are basically photosynthetic in nature and uh, then we uh, knew the classifications which is there in algae which is chlorophycia we have uh, phacophycia and as well as rhodophycia so chlorophycia is green algae uh, phacophycia is brown algae and rhodophycia is red algae we also got to know what is the mode of reproduction they have they have all the three modes of reproduction we find in algae vegetative asexual as well as sexual mode of reproduction so when we talk about the vegetative mode of reproduction there is fragmentation budding then uh, we have uh, uh, we have fragmentation we have uh, budding we have tubers formation Uh, we have fission formations all these things and then uh, coming to asexual mode of reproduction there is zoospores which are being formed and when we come to sexual reproduction they are isogamous if both the sizes of the gametes are a uh, same and isogamous if the gametes are of different sizes and oogamous if we have a non motile female gametes and a motile smaller male gametes okay sure so that's it thank you